Right now we have uh, occasional chats with Bill Pond. Bill is, of course, administrator at Noble Horizons on Cobble Road in Salisbury. Uh, more information uh, on them available at noblehorizons.org. Uh, well, good morning, Bill, and how are you on this lightly snowing morning? Well, good morning, Marshall. Very good, thanks. Thank you. So uh, we, uh, in this country, uh, have had good news uh, on the fact that, uh, and also in New York and Connecticut, uh, cases of coronavirus are now starting to drop significantly. Uh, hospital admissions are finally starting to drop significantly. Uh, and deaths uh, even starting to drop significantly. Uh, the vaccinations uh, continue to go on. As a matter of fact, this week, uh, I think on Thursday, people 65 and older now will be able to get vaccinated. Uh, do you guys feel uh, the uh, the loosening of that noose that has been around you for one solid year uh, where no mistakes could possibly be allowed to happen. <laughs> well, that, that's true. I, uh, it has been a year, and uh, boy, I'll tell you what, it just it seems like yesterday this whole thing started. A year ago, February, is just amazing. Um, you know, I, I, I think uh, we do a little bit. Um, uh, we, you know, I'm a little hesitant to, to say that. I, you know, we, we, we maintain our guard, and uh, – we continue to do what we've done um, for the past year, but um, with the news in the media um, looking a little bit brighter on a day-to-day -day basis, um, there's a there's a certain peace of mind. I think that uh, um, if we keep going in this direction, things will begin to clear up. Now, do you, uh, as 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 Noble Horizons and and you, with all your residents there, whether they're uh, residents uh, that are in uh, for physical therapy or uh, or, or, or long-term residents that live there, do you try to communicate the the news like that and the good the good news like that uh, to them, or do you let them kind of uh, take that in themselves from what they gather? Yeah, I think part of our um, you know relative success over the course of this past year has been the fact that we maintain a very strong, very open line of communication. Um, with, with all the stakeholders involved, um, whether it's the, the families uh, of loved ones on campus, uh, the cottagers the, uh, the, or themselves, um, our residents, um, anybody that has anything to do, um, I think, with the, with the care uh, of our individuals is kept in the loop in, in terms of changes that take place from the state, uh, you know, the numbers that you refer to. Uh, visitation, uh, for instance, has reopened. Um, so we uh, we we maintain a very open line of communication with as many people as possible, and and I think because of that, they participate in our overall goal, and it has been so supportive. Um, you know, the the efforts um, in, in general by those who have some sort of an interest in Noble. Um, it's really been one huge team working towards a common goal, and I think in large part because of the open communication. All right, so let's talk about uh, about what's going on at Noble Horizons. Uh, uh, some of the maybe some things that I'm not aware that you want you want to get out to the public, but uh, uh, we are uh, of course in the, what the, I would call the the worst month of winter, which is uh, February, where even though you're close to March and close to starting to climb out of winter. Uh, uh, it's still a time uh, where where spirits have to be lifted. What's going on at Noble Horizons? Well, I, we um, the the majority of our campus has uh, been vaccinated um, both doses, and you know I, I think uh, going all the way back to the middle of December, I, I think that in and of itself um, allows everybody to you know kind of. Uh, a bit of a sigh of relief. Um, you know what? We're getting through this. Um, you know, March is coming. Um, we're in pretty good shape. We've uh, put ourselves in a position where we can finally start to reach out to the community once again. Um, you know, we're happy to say that we are uh, finally admitting people back into um, um, our, our variety of programs at Noble. Um, and, and we're doing what uh, what we enjoy doing, um, providing that care, providing the uh, opportunities for those in need. And at the same time, you have a certain amount of, of accomplishment of having gone through this. Um, you know, I, 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 I guess I'll throw this out there. One of the things we, we've, we've uh, kind of celebrated in the last week or so, we're one of just three nursing homes in the state of Connecticut, Marshall, that um, never did get the virus. And, um, and, and, and I must say that, um, um, you know, the 
that sense of pride and that sense of accomplishment really um, has carried over into what we do on a day-to-day basis. We've had a few um, a few of our uh, staff members who <laughs> who had uh, the virus over the course of the past year, but on campus, um, outside of uh, um, just one um, uh, cottage uh, isolated incident, uh, no one in the nursing home or, or residential care home was affected uh, by the virus. And and, and and that's a pretty good feeling. And you can see how, you know, you, there's a, a certain amount of um, confidence in what everybody does on a given day to know, you know what, we, we, we're getting through this. So and that's pretty po- That's pretty positive for the what, group. What, what's positive about that is that, uh, once again, all the protocols, obviously, that you put into effect uh, kept it out. Uh, and, you know, I say this uh, every day when uh, Region 1 releases uh, notes about people that have COVID and, and, and they keep the public actually over-informed, but, you know, they were, when all these meetings were going on over the past summer with all these administrators, and I'm sure it was the same at nursing homes, but in the school district, and all these protocols were set up, well, it is pretty obvious to me that the protocols that were set up at Region 1 is something that Region 1 has something to be very proud of because they've managed to keep a cap on everything and keep schools operating. And, yeah, you should be as as Noble Horizons, as, as a community that – that really is even more susceptible uh, to come through it absolutely uh, unscathed and uh, and and no outbreaks. I think that's a that's you know once it's all over and you can have a party, I think that's worth a party in itself, Bill. <laughs> well, I, I, you know that that's come up a couple of times recently, and I think we probably will do something to recognize it I'm, for sure. I, you know, but to your point, it, it, you know, the community at large, um, you, you give a lot of credit to. Um, there's been a lot of interaction um, between businesses, uh, between the schools, um, you know, family to family, uh, whatever opportunity exists. And people share ideas. Uh, people share successes, um, uh, discuss uh, what didn't work, um, you know, the way that one would hope to. But I think that the community at the community level and the involvement that people have had with each other um, and the, um, you know, outside support has really lended itself to a successful story throughout our area. Well, just talking to you this morning, and uh, and I know how uh, I follow this. I I, I give updates uh, uh, twice a day on uh, COVID-19 throughout our tri-state region, and uh, I see ups and downs. But over the past week, uh, I genuinely see uh, numbers going down. And when I hear you talk about the fact that – by uh, now you have 100% of residents uh, vaccinated, uh, that you made it through, uh, especially having a few uh, uh, work members that you obviously caught through screening and everything like that. Uh, So there was no, you know, there was no way that it came in. Those are things that really do make a a cold, snowy February morning a little brighter. the, The fact that, you know, Maybe I'm wrong, but to me, it feels like we are finally, finally, finally getting on the other side of this. You really get that sense. And, um, you know, I certainly uh, support that uh, view that you have, and I, I believe it as well. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue to uh, to move forward as a, as a group, as a community, um, you know, as a, as a health care provider. And, uh, and, 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 and to reassure those that, um, you know, we... Um, look out for what matters most. And, um, you know, everybody that we care for has a loved one somewhere, and that's important to us, and it's a very extensive line, um, you know, of relationships and so on. And we're, we're just really, really proud to uh, have uh, have the opportunity to do what we do, uh, Marshall. Thank you. You know, what you might want to do there, Bill, is, is put together a booklet because, of course, throughout this country, uh, one of the main problems was or, or homes, congregate living facilities, uh, senior communities uh, that were living together. It uh, doesn't matter what state you were in. Uh, really, uh, that's where most of the problems were. You might be able to make a handbook that uh, in the future uh, can be used and utilized not only from the state but also in other states to see uh, how a situation like yours doesn't have to lead to a lot of COVID deaths where you've actually kept it where it is. I, I'm serious about that. You might you might want to hand that instruction manual uh, to the state and say, uh, pass it out. <laughs> well, it's not a bad idea. We, we've been, uh, I think we've been pretty diligent writing down what, I, what we've, uh, you know, through our course uh, navigating this thing. But 
Uh, that's probably a good idea. Who knows? Maybe uh, maybe we will. <laughs> all right. Well, well good congratulations on all this uh, hard work and uh, all the staff and uh, to the residents uh, and, and, and great work. And obviously, we'll speak to you again probably another maybe two, three, four, five weeks and just uh, check in with you again, Bill. Well, when the sun's out and it's about 75 degrees, absolutely. All right. Sounds well, great. Take care. Take care. Thanks, Marshall. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, of course, uh, the administrator at Noble Horizons, uh, Bill Pond, uh, with us this morning. Uh, more information at noblehorizons.org.